What is praise and worship without the fire music, bro? Like w- now, fire music. That's <laughs> the problem, fam. This is not a no rap dust track. This is not a, a, a Drake record, fam. This is bro, God bro. we're serving. Exactly, bro. Why you God don't want to hear that trash, bro? But what trash? The trash that you, that that you guys are singing. With- the nerve of you, mother. So intros. I don't want to do an I intro ah, because we never you're going to step on my intro. <laughs> okay, hi everybody. Welcome back to the Nerf Podcast. To our new subscribers, welcome. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Yeah. She's I'm uh, Simone. Mo Money. I'm Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying Mo Money? <laughs> it just sounds fly, bro. Isn't that fly, bro? Yeah, I'm Mo, Mo Money. Money. Yeah. I thought it was Mo Magic, bro. Mo Magic, Mo just anything that you can put more in front of more it. Money, bro, more money, yeah. more problems. Listen, yeah. Um, this is what I wanted to ask you. I saw, <laughs> I saw a ridiculous post. Okay. So, uh, she goes on a date with guy, right? Okay. So guy takes Early up. With the they on a date. Okay. No. no like, bullshit. C- continue. I don't continue. think there's any bullshit. Okay. Okay, okay. Guy takes chick on the date, and um. Sh- near the end of the show she's like um what's wrong now okay she's like no um since we're almost at the end of the date i got kids at home can i order for my kids okay but obviously the guy paid for the food okay cuz paid so she wants to order for the kids so she yell and he must pay huh? like he, he like he gave her the, the pinky No. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with today's men don't want to do nothing for women anymore. She she tum getrick, bro. That's a trick. That's a finesse, bro. That's not a finesse. I'm saying you know she got kids. What? No, she did you didn't know. No, he knew. He knew. I, I know now. I <laughs> Now when I don't buy the food I'm an asshole, bro. But, nah. but just buy the food. I'm like there's this culture of men not wanting to do <laughs> shit for women and I'm afraid for these females out here. <laughs> the man <is> squat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what? Nah, it really just depends on how bad the chick is, bro. That that's just what it boils down to. How bad is she? And how far are you willing to go because there's a certain amount of bullshit niggas are prepared to put up with, bro, depending on how fine you are. So that, that's, that's pretty privilege. That's just privileged. a fact of life. Yeah, that's pretty privileged, bro. So if if dude wants to clap cheeks, he might just buy four Happy Meals. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there's also that culture of give and take that I can't take. Ah, but that, that's life, bro. That's life. There's no getting around that, bro. No, unfortunately, I, I, I am. I'm just concerned about society as a whole. Um, I actually watched, uh, okay, this is my concern, and I didn't know it was this out of hand. Like, I, I want to put on record, I've never asked a man for money. Okay. Like, I've never I've never said, listen, can you give me money? Or can you send me money? Or um, whatever it is, yeah. right? So, I'm watching the CCMT, um, CCMT whatever TV. Okay. Where they, um, where couples switch phones and they find out, I've been talking about this on the show. I, I've been um, uh, free publicity. <laughs> anyway, so the majority of the times where the man finds out that, no, this chick actually got more than one man in her life. Most of these scenarios is talking about women saying, but you don't even send me any money. I'm like, wait. So, and, and I, that is not even the issue for me yet. The okay. issue comes in that this man is not even working or as a student, you know. So I'm like, the pressure is real. And then the host, um, Lisa says, um, we just got to be real that a relationship cannot work without money. Are, are, we, are we there in society? I mean, I also think a relationship can't work without money, but that's just to cover basics, bro. Like you're going to have to take out your girl eventually. 
you're gonna have to go places eventually. Like all that, like the, the that. bare minimum takes money. I get, yeah. and I get that. But I'm saying that the the, the girls complain. Yeah, they're not yeah, getting yeah, makeup yeah, yeah. money. They're not getting toiletries. Yeah, 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 I would yeah, like yeah. to think that yo toiletries. Now I think I think. Um, like what's it's going a, on? It's on guys, bruh. Like you, you decide what kind of girl you want to date. Not every girl is like that, nah. No, it's it's definitely not not every girl. Every um, girl's not it's like that. So it's definitely not every girl. Depending My, on the type of girl that you want or the type of girl that you're looking for, you're gonna have to be prepared to put up with a certain amount of bullshit, bruh. And um, it's really your prerogative, bruh. What are you prepared to deal with as a dude? Like, what are you prepared to pay for? No, because niggas didn't... are gonna pay for shit, don't. Unfortunately, there are niggas out there that are down bad enough to pay for whatever, bruh. That's making it difficult for real niggas. <laughs> but that that's just the the, the world, bruh. No, but my my thing is that maybe um I can't understand. I don't understand that the culture as as no sewer. Erg. No, it's that, it, it is what it is, and, and there's no shame to it even. Because there was a time when I felt like I was not shame to that game. No, no, I think I think there is shame in it, nah. Because as dudes, there's, especially there's like a whole community of dudes that are calling out girls for their bullshit, nah. But dudes are being shamed for calling out the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see that. So they they're but trying to catch us on that. It's a vicious cycle. I just want to wish everyone the, the best of luck. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, as 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 bad as you bad, gotta literally as bad. pay your way. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not doing that. I'm not one of those niggas, bruh. Just for that, that's not free info, bruh. Yeah, but you you would you would pay for shit. No, like if if if, I, if I'm going to pay for shit, and if if we're going to be transactional to that extent, bruh, it's like a one time situation. What do you mean transactional? Because that's transactional. I have to buy weaves. I have to buy all uh, the shit so you can fuck with me, bro. Like, it sounds nuts saying it out loud, yeah. bro. No. So, uh, if you if if we're gonna do some whole shit, bro, let's let's do the whole shit. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me pay for the thing, and answer eight not I. But let's let's keep it one hundred percent real, bro. Let's not f- f- let's not fuck around. Yeah. Munu noch mit date mors ni. I said seven it. Uh, bre- what is your price list? Bring that. I'll take on. for services rendered, nah, bro. No, bro, no. You've also a journal and said, nah. Guess who received journal? He's being pulled out hey, now. Bro. Nah, bro. Okay. You know what? Uh, it's fair. As as on the culture, can it? As it fair? Um, I'm just I'm concerned. I'm just concerned for the new generation because look, I have a little brother, fam, and I, I I don't feel comfortable with this guy paying for anything at this point. And I, my reasoning is just based on that logic. Like I'm not comfortable with my dad, my brother, or my husband I, even I, paying I, for. I, I, I blame niggas, bro. It's 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 guys' fault, bro. But isn't it because like? But you see, what's my thing? Um, I don't mind the payment of stuff. I I don't mind if a guy feels the need to just pay for shit, ne? My 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 concern is just that. But there's a certain type of type of guy that does that, and you need to go for a, that certain type of guy. My concern is that you're choosing a guy. Yeah, but look, we we talk about this shit all the time, bro. Um. Because there's, there's a certain there's, percentage of niggas that really have money like that. Yeah, that's the thing. Every girl so wants that guy. it doesn't matter. Nah, every girl wants that guy. And that guy, uh, if he does spend money on a woman, it doesn't re- even matter to him because if he's a millionaire or if, if he has yes. m- money like that, I mean, giving a chick 5,000, 8,000, 8, it's, it's really nothing to him. But then you get guys that... Don't have 8,000. That, that, that know the girls want that. And then that's where the finesse comes in. So now they are either spending money they don't have trying to get with this girl or they're making the girl believe that they can benefit by being in a situation with me, you know. And some niggas win by doing that. But it's... And and then there's also... Um, so then it's then we can say it's, it's part the guy's fault. It's niggas, bro, because... Guys, guys that really have money like that, right? They don't really have the time to be be messing around with females. Like a, a guy that's on his business, bro. He has a he has a limited amount of time 
that it can uh like free time doesn't have a lot of free time in a sense like if you're going to if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody that's time invested but i beg to differ you differ because sometimes it's not even about a relationship i don't feel like even these rich niggas really want a relationship yeah but like that's that. what i'm but that's I what i'm getting to like if you if you're going to spend money on a woman you it's it's for that night and then i had my fun bye rich nigga shit yeah but okay but uh, are you saying there's no such thing as a guy in a committed relationship and doing that as well no i'm saying a guy can be in a committed <clears throat> relationship and be on his business but it's uh he has to set time apart for his relationship and then if a guy doesn't do that he runs into a lot of trouble like uh because he's not spending enough time with his wife or with his children it causes problems in that relationship that's when divorce happens that's when um wife's girlfriend starts cheating that's when like a, a whole lot of um i'm i'm talking about real businessmen like if you if we look at this like the Steve Jobs story bro where he even didn't even want to claim a child bro because <laughs> he's like i i don't have time for you <laughs> It, it it gets to that extent but so no, but, but the thing is that the, the Steve Jobs situation is so um as for maybe far fetched because this this is real this is like world business this is nah, international businessman but, but I, I think the average like the the average rich nigga like not what's your average rich nigga bro like any any guy with a job no any guy with it just a, has like regardless regardless of how much that guy gets paid if it if it's a average job Like if he's a lawyer, lawyers get money. But it's not average. But it's a job. It, it's, yeah, it's, they get he, money. Yeah, they they don't count because it's, it's still like a nine to five. I'm talking okay, about. Okay, but I'm just going. Uh, okay, I don't even know how we got here. <laughs> no, a guy is concerned like, about I'm, society. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about guys that really have money like that. The only guys that have money like that that have all the time in the world are criminals, bro. Drug dealing <laughs> niggas, gangsters, bro. <laughs> They they're spending money on these women, bro. And then niggas. And a lot of women. Average. Average niggas want to compete with street niggas, bro. Yeah, you so can't even. Yeah, you can't even. You can't even. Yeah, but but my concern is that um we we can already identify who the street niggas are, who's the nine to five versus who's the businessman. We can identify who the who's who. But why yeah. do we go for the 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 average dude who really cannot? There's no way. I don't feel like he sold me any kind of dream. Nothing. Um, the scenarios of these stories, it's guys that. hustle hard or they try to make a living and then these women tell those guys yo my you can't even maintain me i'm like dude you why are you in a relationship with this guy that is my concern my concern is bro hey, bro. men are in, nah, in we, going through a depression at, yeah, at this point bro we keep saying uh girls sometimes mess with a guy that has all the money but that's a street nigger but she doesn't really like what he does because that guy's probably cheating on her too so she tells herself that no I want an ordinary guy I want an ordinary life but she's not thinking about hey this is the fun I like to have like I I like to be with this street nigga regardless of his bullshit nah it's just that it takes it, it takes an emotional toll on 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 the girl involved so the regular nigga is like safe but he's only safe for a while until she gets tired of the dude and that's when like the 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 now she's not entertained anymore because yo you're not doing shit for me whereas the street dude even though he's on some bullshit he's but he's doing everything he's doing everything yes now bro like the, there's there's a, there's okay, a, there's a formula to a type of girl that you would that you would need to find bro like your uh, your girl can't be too outgoing bro that's a balance fun uh i i bro I, I i'm telling you bro like if she's if she likes traveling Mm-hmm. For example, like mm-hmm. she's and 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 the IG profile is she she's just everywhere, bro. It's a red flag. Kind of because What? Kind of, bro. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of kind of kind of kind of. Traveling bro. and groove is not the same thing. Yeah, look. Listen to me, bro. I'm we're talking about the guy going for the girl that's kind of out of his reach because she has certain things that she expects from guys. So as a guy, if you look through a girl's profile and she likes traveling, If she's going to get into a relationship with you, you must prepare to be uh, be prepared to pay for to pay for some flights. So <laughs> so, so uh, if you don't meet that requirement, it's not necessarily a red flag, but, but that's a 
uh, indicated to you to say that, hey, maybe this one is not for me. But she bad, man. You know, I mean, uh, men like to no, reach, man. As this. I don't like reach for the sometimes, stars. Sometimes, niggas, as niggas, you just have to be real with yourselves. Bro. Yeah. You'll save yourself a lot of trouble, bro. There okay, are then, basi- There's also basic women out there, bro, that aren't, that aren't ugly, bro. There's, there's, but, there's, there's basic women that are fine. What's basic? Bro, girls, I girls, really, I'm really asking. Girls that, that, that really aren't that un- outgoing. I'm not talking about basic as in the, you know, how they call bitches basic. Now I'm not talking about yeah, that. Yeah, that is what I'm thinking. <laughs> That's what I'm like, please elaborate. <laughs> okay, no, nah, I'm talking about girls that, that just like the, the, the regular things. They, expect, that aren't, they, don't, they expect to be a minimum, basically. Yeah. But this is what I want to ask you. You saying the guy, for example, you see on this chick's IG, she likes to travel, she likes to do nice things. No senior, okay, you know what? I wouldn't probably be able to afford that, bro. But my my concern is, what kind of girl are you then going for? Or do you just stay without a girl? Because nah, you didn't nah, want nah, to. Nah, nah. you, you, I think that's bro, you need to look the purpose at your position. of humans, bro. Nah, you need to look at where, where you are. So you must as a guy, a you don't approach. Nah, bro. Like this, there's, 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 there's a girl for any guy. I, I agree. Yeah. So from where you're sitting at, bruh, you have to make an assessment to say, hey. But this is why, this is why you guys choose struggle chicks. Nah, don't say go, we choose struggle chicks. Do. We don't choose struggle chicks. No, I mean, that the you problem choose is, chicks that nah. helps you during your struggle. That's nah, what nah, I mean. Nah, nah. The and then I shall let Mark and I'm for the baddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is wrong. <laughs> 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 Nah, I, I'm no, joking. I'm joking. No, you're I'm not. Joking. It's not joking. <laughs> I know it's not. <laughs> nah, nah, do you know what the real problem is, bro? What oh the real problem is? Do you gosh. know what the real? Nah, do you know what the real problem is? The real problems is options, bro. People today have too many options, bro. The more options you have, the worse it is for you because you can easily cancel a motherfucker for another motherfucker if you feel like this motherfucker is not doing enough. You know what I mean? So the less options. You have even the even the most basic girl has options because of social media, bruh. <laughs> hey, bruh, that's not the. Do you know in 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 Amsterdam, bruh, like red light district, bruh? It's literally like like prostitution is legal there. Yeah, like yeah, girls yeah. are in the windows, bruh, la 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 dancing in windows. Like for you, it's red to IG is like digital die. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm it's uh, raining. shopping, bruh. It's raining. Even for girls too, bruh. Because girls do the same with guys too. Girls know exactly um, who they following, why they following, um, who they... W- bruh, it's, it's a mess. Because I see um, there's this on, thing on Facebook where people are complaining about the kind of people that's adding them. And I'm like, it, I'll, I'm ah, like there's no way. Like I have 2,000 Facebook friends. I don't know every single one of ah, them. Bruh. But I don't have an issue with who's... I, I comment on, on whoever status, whoever can comment on mine, and it, to me, it's not an issue. Yeah, but you but know what? Facebook is is done, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Facebook, you don't. Nah, that's not where you're picking up girls, bro. Oh, that's not how yeah, you. No. Nah, 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 bro. No, but I'm just saying that is where you you, you the interaction at least nah, more or less. Nah, not for 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 maybe for like us, bro, because we like of a certain age, bro. People of a certain age interact still on Facebook, or people that ah, you make us seem old, fam. Mm, no, but but age. that's just facts, bro. Like people from a certain generation, like we're so used to doing things a certain way that Facebook, we came up with Facebook kind of. So Instagram is not really our app, or Snapchat isn't really our app, bro. But um. The, the the app really is IG. <laughs> that's the the that's the app. Yeah, but that's you see, the thing about IG is it's not for me the unrealistic beauty standards, but for me, I'll kakir kre. And I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do fall. Um, um, it's like you look at certain chicks. Yeah. The body goals, the face, um, magic. You know, it's the things that they do. Yeah, close to that. I just sometimes have a- I, I fall so envious. I'm like, damn, like what are these people doing? And then I'm like, but if I feel like that and I'm of a certain age, what about the younger females? Yeah, it's a so problem. So there's no time for pro. There's no time for work in progress. There's only progress. That's the thing about Instagram. It's you a highlight reel. You can't low us ni. You must high da yeah. and only go up from there. Yeah. But this is why we're depressed. Yeah. And sick I, in I, the head. I, 
I, I, I agree with all that. Because people don't even like each other for who they are anymore. It's but about the vibes that they give off. Like people start following you because you give off a certain kind of rich um, vibe. Or yeah. like, a, um, you know, like... A, On Instagram. Yeah. That yeah. diet to me is problematic because I still, I, I can talk to, I, bro, I can sit in a tavern, a local tavern and enjoy people's company because I'm still about that... Um, that interaction, I'm still about that connection, fam. Like, on on we must get to know each other. I like hearing people's stories, you know? And yeah, I, I, so I don't have, like, a type of person that I only speak to. And that's the thing about Instagram. I, Men that know um, a type of person that they're interacting with. And if you're not, don't fall under that category. And yeah, bruh, they good don't necessarily enough. interact, bruh. Do you know how NBA niggas DM girls, bruh? Do you know how they... they, they you tell me. They they don't even say anything, bro. Let's turn at the like a, a dot, like a full stop, like a unique, like a period, like nee. a let's nee. let the DM at the dot, nee, bro. You can't even from my dot steer me. As on a full stop, you can't even from my. Me as a comma, me a full bruh. stop look, means bruh. end of story. Nah. You belong to me. Me you know, as a question mark, me fam. You know no, the, 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 no, no. There's not a guy that's gonna pick me up like that, bro. They don't need to say anything, bro. Like what said is said, bro. Like what is said, the stand is nothing bro, said. You, you you see you see on my profile, uh, Yo, that's come a... see how I'm living. Come live okay. how I live, bro. I, the full stop means okay, so nice. much, bro. Man, I so flex, fam. If you pick up a girl with the full stop, I I gotta give it to you. Nah, <laughs> can't I do it? Nah, tell it. Nah. Yar, ik 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 maak a trophy van you and ik set you up here in my son. Oh. If you're that kind of guy. Nah, bro, but that, that's the type that, that, that's the shit rich niggas are doing, bro. Okay, bro, I feel like we, this formula is not, it's just, it's on this long topic. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. We gotta move on to is. more we, serious we, 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 issues. <laughs> we have to move on. But yeah, there's no fixing it. We're too far gone, bro. Like that, that's the world we live in now. I, we'll talk about it again when, 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 when um, the bullshit arises. But moving on to Dr. Nandipa again, I'm tired of speaking about this woman. Um... I'm tired of seeing a face on 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 Facebook, on social media, fully makeup. Um, like Whitney endorsed Nike for honey, or what's going on? I'm tired of seeing this woman not looking like the I'm not problem lie, she's causing. I I don't know she was that thick, bro. This is like unrelated, but I don't know she was thick like that. <laughs> yeah, so, so. yeah, they, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, nah, but this is why. But this, I'm not a judge, bro. Like bro, I'm not a judge. I'm not. <laughs> you're less despicable, man. You're less worried about these fancy frozen crimes against humanity. That that's, as long as she's thick, fam. This is why all of us wanna be thick because so long on stickers. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's effect of life, bro. Nah, I'm not saying. Um. Wh- what is effect of life? So long on stickers. I mean, we, we, we've set beauty standards for ourselves, bruh. And guys didn't do that. Girls did that. Girls did that. Fan yalla like. Nah. <laughs> yes. No. Fan <laughs> unlike yalla biki gooters. Huh? That's, there's, there's no unlike button. But I'm sure nah, if that was bro. there, you would have not seen it. <clears throat> okay, let's but talk yeah, about I, the case. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So you're saying that Dr. Nandipa could possibly be set free because of technicalities. Yep. The technicalities could be that the police apprehended her. They basically kidnapped her. Or <laughs> well, like, what the fuck is the police supposed to be doing? Nah, they, the thing is, with international laws, right, there's a reason why people commit crimes then they skip country because it's not so easy to get a criminal back from another country, especially if there's no treaty with the other country okay. to coordinate the return or the swap out of the prisoner or to the, the processing of the prisoner right. so that they can come to jail or, or, or whatever. Right. Yeah, so they just didn't follow due process. Bra. So they, they picked that up and they the, the, whatever arrangements they made there because they were arrested by the Tanzanian police, I believe. I can be wrong. Okay. But the handover process was not one where they followed protocol. What and they the basically protocol? just handed her over to the South African police and they brought her back. Okay, but this is a criminal. Yeah. And, and um, the problem, the, the, my thing is, if you are in my country for a crime that you've committed in another country, yeah. I don't care what kind of treaty we have or do not have, you are then a, a risk 
to what's happening in my country. And you need to go back to the fuck where you came from because there's a problem. There's a criminal. Yeah, if, if that's known. There's a known criminal. If, if that's known, they can deport you. But they, that, that, that's, yeah, but the that's part of her argument in the thing is that she wasn't deported. She was extradited, but illegally. Like there's a difference. But then does somebody like that have rights? The thing is, l- let me tell you about this law and uh, crime and law thing. Okay. Uh, crime and criminals and, and cops. Like cops are there to uphold the law. Yes. Enforce the law. And enforce the law. They can't commit crimes in themselves to catch a criminal. They have to work within the bounds of the law to catch criminals. But how many times do people, um, especially with the snitch, uh, snitch situation, how many times do, um, do police not, um, what do they call it, man? Collaborate yeah. with thugs to catch thugs. Yeah, but that, that's not, uh, that is not a crime that they're committing by doing that. Wait, 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 wait. So are you telling me the Tanzanian police handing Dr. Nandipa over to the SASEPS police or whatever, um, they are committing a crime? That that whole situation was like illegal. So yeah, crime. So that's that's why it's a technicality. Okay, that's fine. The police. Oh, we didn't know. On San Anmeri trial. Nah, there's no such thing, bro. There, is, there should be nah, such thing. Nah, there's, there's no such thing, bro. This woman committed serious crimes. Bruh. Okay, but nevertheless, I thought you meant that Tabo Besta had kidnapped her. Is she no, no, saying no, no. that? But my thing is, you ran away with a known fugitive. Yeah. What? What is? What? Why are we not focusing on that at all? Aiding, aiding and abetting, because it, it's like that with any crime, bro. Mm-hmm. Like if 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 you commit a crime now, maybe you stole something and the police come and grab you, they arrest you, but they don't read you your Miranda rights, bro. Like you know, you know that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, you can. If they don't read that shit to you, and you go to court and you tell your lawyer that, they can use that as a technicality to get you out, bro. Okay, but then. Maybe in South Africa, your, the Miranda rights should be at five years old. <laughs> what is your Miranda rights? So that you need, then you need to sign like an ID book. You create your ID that say DNA key as a way for the laws. There's a lot of criminals that get out like that, bro, where the police don't follow due process and they get out because. Wait, so in South Africa, they also have to say, you have a right to remain yeah, yeah, silent. Yeah, they, they actually Everything do have to say, say that. They actually have to say that. Yeah, they have to say that. I don't picture our cop <laughs> doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't picture. But that's if they arrest you, bro. Remember when? Imagine a colored w- police. When 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 uh, <laughs> Doctor Nandipa came back and Tabo Besta, when they brought them back from the plane, people were asking, "Yeah, but why aren't they handcuffed? Like why aren't why aren't they in cuffs? Because technically, um." The argument was they weren't arrested until they actually got here. But the, the everything that happened before then, like getting them like there, me, all that. You know what? I, I don't have a problem. Yeah. Maybe people should, um, or the police should follow a protocol. I don't have an issue with the technicality. However, um, the technicality should then just maybe um, contribute to a lighter sentence as opposed to not making anything else count. Because there's a there's a crux of the situation. Yeah, the crux of the situation is um, an innocent citizen of South Africa has died. She identified a body that did not belong to Tabo Bester. She helped this um I I as a renowned as a criminal, as a renowned criminal, murderer, rapist. Um she assisted with the escape of this man, right? She used certain celebrities and influences and donations to make all of this shit happen. She was involved with that, directly so. Yeah. If we let this woman free or set her free, we are sending a message to South Africans. We are saying that um, no matter how heinous a crime could be, if there's just one technical flaw um, concerning the justice system, then you could be free. And we never should underestimate and undermine how smart our people can be in paying attention to these technicalities. But th- because then all of us will start committing crimes and we will make sure we pay attention nah, go. to these nah, technicalities. Go. Because every criminal that's committing crimes think they can outsmart the cops. Some of them do. But are they not doing Some that? Some of them Looking don't. at South Africa. 
the majority of the criminals and the cops and whatever, we still don't know who killed AKA. Yeah. They, I, I watched a video of a guy walking up to three men walking to wherever. Yeah, I also saw Executional that. style shoots the guy and whatever. I, I tried to read the comments to figure out. They said, well, firstly, that guy looks exactly like AKA's killer. Number two, um, not that... Not that it is that like that, yeah. but I'm just saying with South Africans alone, with us alone, not even being part of the police system um, or the investigators. Number two, people were like, no, but I seek a, a, a trainee for uh, an organization like um, the Izinkabi. So to me, I'm thinking to myself, this is an issue. Yeah. No, nah, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. And then it was like, um, basically, on the police minister... Has done a criminal work. Uh, allegedly. Or for, is it even alleged, bro? Can you say shit like that, bro? Like our police minister is Well, he's criminal. acting like somebody... That, he's not covering up certain things, friend. Allegedly, bro. Let's say allegedly. Say it, allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. You can say allegedly. Okay. I'll just make the allegations. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, His time is up. Why is he taking... South Africa so long or the justice system so long to not because I thought the, the justice system is independent they function as an independent body yeah. so they can then um, point out that what Becky Kele is doing is unlawful yeah, but the thing is the, the, the justice system uh, well, works not unlawful separate. I would just say he's completely negligent with carrying out his duties yeah, but he's the thing is people that that work in the executive branch they need to actually point out that he's doing wrong and then refer a case to the justice department for them to decide whether what he's doing is lawful or unlawful. But if, if that's not happening, then there's nothing for them to decide. You know what I mean? They, the, the justice system okay, just but, gets but referred cases. Sorry, I just wanted to come back to yeah. when I said unlawful, uh, maybe the wrong word used. Okay. On can say negligent. Let's say powers. Because... At this point, he knows exactly where the hotspots are. He is working like overtime to kind of like, can I say cover up certain negligences of the other um, um, bodies within the South African Police uh, um, Association. Because with this type of Bester case, he proved to be so negligent. And because he's negligent, the staff under him is going to be even worse because there's no consequences for, for this kind of behavior. Yeah. There needs to be more stringent punishments on the people actually doing the job. Bra. Now, I get exactly what you're saying, bra, but I think the, because he's at the top, bra, who's gonna call, somebody needs to call him out. And the problem is when people get called out, they get vict- like, um the person doing the calling out gets victimized. Or killed. Or that. Or fired. Or yeah. you just never hear from them so, again. Because right now, I want to continuously hear from Advocate Breitenbach. I want to continuously hear from these people. I need them to apply so much pressure. And this just um, goes so well into this whole Hillsong documentary um, with the pastors fucking the kids. Hey, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. No, 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 the pastor sexually molesting the kids. Uh, uh, pardon my, and I'm not even drinking today. Um, yes, sir. pardon my French. We need to call it out like it is. Can, can we? And not put salt can we, or sugar in it. Can we ease into the topic? Bro? Let's tell the people what we're talking about exactly first. But, uh, before. No, but <laughs> I just want to say it's because we don't apply enough pressure. They didn't apply enough pressure. This is why people like Frank Houston, as it Frank, ne? could be molesting over 50 to 100 kids for over 30 to 40 to 50 decades and not getting caught because people don't apply pressure, fam. A case gets closed and that it, it is what it is. Yeah, but there was like... Okay, now to, we can now okay. introduce the topic. We're talking about this Yulsong, sec- what secrets within the Yulsong yeah, documentary. Yeah, the documentary that came out. So... I watched it yeah, for it, four it, it, hours. It, it, it was nuts, bro. But basically, a uh, big church out of Australia. I think a lot of people are familiar with Hillsong. Hillsong is huge, bro. Even the, bro. the music. Bro, the music. 
huge. I mean, huge. So, I mean, if you, if you, okay, never mind. Let's. Uh, do you want to? Le- do you want to talk about the crimes first, or how do you want to approach the topic, brother? Because I feel like this one we need to be. I want to know. There is something within a lot of church societies, um, and there's a clause within some the books that. I don't think it's the books. Says molest. I don't, I don't think it's the books. That's it, man. I don't think it's the books. Bro, do, do the you know Catholic, what I think it the is? The Catholic ministry do, do you know for, what, year, for, for centuries. Yeah. Do you know what I think it is? Have been molesting kids. Do you know what I think it is? Do you know what I think it is? No. Bro? Pastors get told that they must remain celibate throughout their like, yeah, they, they're not supposed to be having sex, bro. Pastors? Yeah. No, they can't have sex with their wives. They can have any like kind the, of in, sex in, with in, their wives. In, in, the, in the Roman Catholic Church, bruh, members of the cloth, bruh, they're not supposed to be having sex, bruh. they're supposed to be celibate. Bruh. You're joking. No, I'm, t- I'm telling you that. Though. That's why I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm saying that's where the problem comes from. Bruh, because those, So I, the Pope is not supposed to be... Ha- he, no. He's, he's, a, he's supposed to be a virgin. Celibate. Celibate. Because in his years, before he becomes that's a Pope... I don't believe in celibacy. Yeah, but, but there's no way you, you're going to be a, 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 a virgin pope, bro. That is uh, That's very the unlikely. The thing is, expecting somebody who has had sex before not to have sex anymore is a problem because he's already eaten the apple. Yeah, but you offer up yourself to be a pastor, bro. So you know what you're giving up by following that road. But there so, are certain privileges that goes with that. What privileges? Bro, the church sorts you out, man. Like, you don't have to work. Yeah, isn't it? After the community and the congregation, they sort you out. You've got living privileges, driving privileges, medical privileges. Yeah, is a God in the, in the eyes of the people of the Catholic Church. How many times were on the Pope? I don't know. What is, what is this annual thing about the Pope doing shit? And then everybody gathers there like he is a God. And he is there with his attire. And... And 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 you don't actually even have access. The moment you don't act, have access, direct access to your priest or your pope or your pastor, it's a problem. As I pass to many I personally, Kenny, and I'm talking about he knows me from as a member in his congregation. He's not coming over to my house to come and drink unnecessary cups of tea and coffee. Yeah. He's not meeting me anywhere for tea and coffee. He doesn't have my personal number to be sending me um, strange messages. This man is just leading me closer to... God. No, the man, rather no, the God-like f- um, figure, because I cannot have access to him. And when I do have access to him, I act like I am, I am in the, 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 the uh, um, company of the Most High, but which think, is think, wrong, fam. But I think that's people's fault also, bruh. It is people's fault. But the thing is, um, as much as it's people's fault, the people who is the most in trouble is the people who is allowing these people to act like that. Allah would say, yo, I'm not a deity. I am a human like you and me. And this is why we are old pastors to a certain type of standard. Because they act like they are not humans on that pulpit. What do you want to say? So I I, what I'm saying is when you become a pope, when you become a priest and a pastor, um, the, 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 the amends. Yeah, but you should not be involved enjoying any kind of privileges. Yeah, but like with anything, bruh, like uh, power corrupts, bruh. So, um, but you see, the human why, that's why, why I said, bruh, the human element, bruh, is always going to be a problem, bruh. As long as you're a human being, you're going to make mistakes, bruh. Nobody's which, perfect. which I make so much space yeah. for, but the kind of mistakes that you make. That's a limitation. Sometimes it's not even a mistake, bro. A the mistake more power is not you, fucking a key, cause, fam. Because the, the more power you have, the more advantage you... you, you, you uh, bro, molesting a kid is not a mistake. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a mistake, but I'm Infidelity. saying... Infidelity. You, um, you take certain liberties, bro, depending on how much power you have, bro. Like you just feel more free to do certain things and not to be held accountable and not... Uh, you just feel invincible, with Guess the more why, power you have. Brother. You know why you feel invincible? Because when you become, like look at the Vatican um, City. Do you know that Thai City is a city of the air? Yeah. Where there is absolutely no influence from government, from the police, 
from the law any any no yeah. the church is in, in the church is involved in everything there hala they even um prosecute you if you commit a crime yeah, or what yeah, yeah, you yeah. alas res- my dang as di <laughs> why do they have those kind of privileges where they are excluded from being prosecuted no, 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 places places like that exist but even you get islamic states but where um like I never you know bullshit like this about islamic states you never hear about children being molested but you do hear about maybe they, they kids have... being married from a very young age but the molestation rate and within the catholic community Yeah, no the Hillsong scandal. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 crazy. That's but nuts. The, but the 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 Hillsong church is not a Roman Catholic church, but maybe we should also just say that because Okay, but coming they, but I just wanted to like make the connotation yeah, as to who the come, connection why that, is it happening? It's only book and as what says that, sexually uh, molest. It's not the it's not the book, bro. Okay, but wait. Why yeah, this is to me the the, the loopholes in the in this um Hillsong documentary. Pastor Carl Lenz Yeah. Is the guy that has been caught out for cheating on his wife. Yeah. To come call and they make a documentary fun the secrets fat fun what an han in your song care. But is it his do- I don't think I it's think his he's documentary. Part of, he's part of the, the 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 crew. I think he just got interviewed by everybody who belonged to the church. I think no, but the, Pastor Carl Lenz paying a lot of attention I, to his I life. Think, yeah, but I think Pastor Carl Lenz is uh, in the song. No, he was just a big part of it. Like especially in the beginning. Or not in the beginning, but um, whenever when he came on board, because um, he was the fly as pastor. You see, that's another problem. <laughs> a pastor must also crocodile like bro. A pastor must like also talk a lot. Are we having? Are we having that discussion? Like are, we, King Kong. are we having? Are we going to have that discussion, bro? Because I, no, I, the I problem agree. is people were talking about Carl Lenz like yo. I, I, no, I, I agree, bro. I like, agree. I agree. Remember this, I told this you. This man of God on uh, I can't on a blue tree. That's a problem for me. <laughs> It's crazy, bro. The pastor can not meet the some us. Yeah, I agree, bro. I said you posted the thing on Facebook and then I said God only speaks through ugly. <laughs> 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 no, no. TD Jakes, bro. How can you say it's ugly? Ah, it's ugly, bro. Who There's nothing wrong with being ugly, bro. That's God's favor. Who mean you God's favor? Is you being ugly? T.D. Jakes, bro. Come on, bro. We, we, we cannot say T.D. Jakes is not blessed, bro. That is God's favor, bro. Yeah, He's not a pretty but, motherfucker, bro. Yeah, but that is... Yeah, man. That is subjective, fam. K- There are K- people who find that mind... Hey, Kirk, go... Why do you want to talk about Kirk, <laughs> is Kirk Franklin? Is Kirk Franklin fine? <laughs> nah, it's fine. Because he dresses well, but he's the devil. <laughs> no, do you think he's not the devil, bro? Can okay, you say but that? I just no, no, he's I'm not the devil. Sorry, music, guys. Bro. But I feel like no, the gospel music, but I know and people don't pay attention to lyrics. People don't read. The issue with people going to church is that they don't um, research Yo, for themselves. What's wrong with Kirk Franklin's lyrics, bro? Quote the bar for me right now. <laughs> okay, so where was I? So <laughs> now, people don't r- research. People don't read lyrics. Naksni. That, you know what? Um, there was a part of um Kirk Franklin's 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 lyrics where he said, "What did he say? Something about the lion and something else bowing down to the goat. Now the goat is associated with witchcraft, bro. The goat, even the symbol of the goat. There's something about the goat. I'm gonna need to listen to the song, bro, because we, you you might be interpreting it from. No, it's your fine. view. I'll send you that. Yeah. But I just feel like there are certain things. Even um, there's a lot of things. There's a song of Beyonce that I listen to. We and the songs of Beyonce school is vibey. We can do that. But there's this thing. There's in this particular song she talks a lot, and the shit that she was saying, I was like, yo, I was big to the shit, and it's no longer difficult for witchcraft or shit like this to be portrayed. It's no longer difficult to cover, not difficult, but it's no longer important to these people to cover it up because it's no not just out there. But coming back, why yeah. don't members of the congregation start researching? No, we were... Yeah, because uh, they, they depend on the pastor to interpret for Wrong. them. Yeah. Wrong. 
Because yeah. the pastor can tell you whatever he wants to about his interpretation. Yeah. Because remember, interpretation yeah. is not carved in stone. Yeah, that is that is true. And I feel like people place faith above knowledge, bro. When 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 the when the Bible says, "My people perish, perish because of ignorance," of bro. So, so know your shit, know bro. Your and shit, then go friend. to the to the church to nah. do the things, bro. This so I, this is why I'm saying Jesus is is the guy, friend. But do you? But you also said. But going back to our argument, bro, because we didn't reach a point with the with the uh, pastor Carl Lentz was too fine to be a pastor. Pause. No, yes, but the thing is th- that is not the main reason for his downfall. The problem is people like Pastor Cal came, and they. I, I have to hand it to him because he is a good actor. He acted his ass off on that stage, and um, knowing what he was doing. But you see, um, the the lack of common sense from the people fails me. There's a part where some of the one of the people who spoke said there was no black representatives, yet he was a black lives matter advocate, right? There was a part where um, the wife of Pastor Carl was talking about here. Listen to this bullshit. She was a nanny for them. Yeah. And the nanny had a nanny. Okay. That's a red flag. <laughs> Who can a nanny? A nanny. Because you must For work. Because you must work. Because you must work. Ma, work as a nanny. Yeah, and but. And say, the fact that she can afford a nanny. It's like. From being a nanny. Bruh, if you have, if, if you have, Bro. Uh, if you have kids, bruh, and the nanny comes over with her kids, bruh. You're gonna want her to do something with her kids, but you don't necessarily want her kids to be in your house too no. while she's taking care of your kids. No. So she's gonna have a nanny, but like, why is there a red flag? Yeah, but a family member should be taking care of the kids, but not like an actual nanny that's on a payroll. That to me is a red flag. I mean, these people have people with money, bro. Yeah, so but, they can afford to pay their, many, their nanny the amount of money that she can. But guess what? This lady is saying something was off. That's the dung fan human intuition, fam. We all are blessed with it. Once we born with human intuition, if something feels slightly off, it's off. It's off. This guy shouldn't be texting me. Yeah. Like this guy shouldn't be touching me in a certain kind of way, fam. And you know that I know women know when shit is not right. There's not a woman that can tell me that in a situation where she was, um, where she was sexually, um, let's say, taken advantage of. There's no way that she couldn't have felt that this is not appropriate. This man calling me into his office um, and, and, and talking to me in a certain kind of way, groping me, is an issue. Yeah. But also within the Hillsong um, uh, community, the problem there is that, uh, um, that tocu- the, the toxic masculinity fan Alice. Because even if you were a woman that wanted to speak out, they shut it down. Almal is involved. The police is involved. The church, the entire leadership of the church is involved. Yeah, because um, it's so your powerful. friends don't believe you. Your your own friends. Yeah, because how can a man of God do that, bro? Yeah, you don't have to tell me enough or more or whatever about somebody touching you inappropriately. Yeah, like we 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 understand that because we are not part of that church or part of any. Okay, you part of a church, but I'm not part of a church. So if somebody can tell me that nah, this pastor is busy with that and that and that, it's easier for me to believe them than it is for a member of that church to believe them because yo, this guy's a he's he's God incarnate at least to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, but um, um like it's harder for them because okay. But coming back to okay, uh-huh. the thing about your song is, but every time things came to light, they did like let you go and. Paul, uh, Carl Lentz say that Allah, Allah cut ties with you. What is the issue with that? No, the only cut... We can't be associated with this mess. What is going on Wait, which part are you talking about exactly? He says, um, there was an interview, like, um, let's say a Zoom meeting about what happened, where he expressed to the people what happened. And then they fired him. And then that was the end that he heard from them. And now they, they started putting his business out. Um, I get that. But... You sharing your business with these people. What was your expectation from the church? What is the church supposed to do to support you? Um, because think, Ye has done the think, face of Hillsong. You are Hillsong. I think that and was now, the problem. What was the problem? He was, remember the the, the, the founders of Hillsong Church was, I mean, Frank 
uh, Houston started it in Australia, or he didn't start it, but uh, his son Brian, Brian Houston, Houston started it in Australia. But he's the he's actually the pastor of the church. When it expanded into like the United States, and they got uh, Pastor Carl to join, he kind of became the face of Hillsong, and in the United people States, people loved more. Pastor Carl more than Brian. Brian, bro, which is like dice, dice, dice. Law number one, bro, and the 48 laws of power, bro. Don't, don't outshine the master, bro. <laughs> yes. So because you was... But the master is being groomed. No, nah, but you... What happens? Do the master groom you? Like... Because it's not like you are set up. If you are set up, then they can say... Um, uh, but I'm going to take any opportunity to take you out, bro. Because the reason why that's a law is... He is a good thing to do for Brian Burner. Like yo, I'm, I'm I'm doing this for the church. This is what I, but but I'm doing it because Hillsong is my home and all that. But to Pastor Brian, it doesn't look like that. It's like yo, you're trying to steal my light. So then it's like nah. And then when the when when the story came that he actually cheated on his wife, bro, that was the 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 the, the most opportune moment for them to say nah. Let's get him the fuck out of here, bro. But I'm still saying that was at his own. Uh, like, but but I'm still saying, what did they for what? But, but what that, is the church supposed to do? That is that is not the issue. Like any business is gonna get rid of you if you if you if 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 your bullshit goes against their values. The problems yes. with Hillsong is they were hypocrites themselves because their whole shit was built on the legacy of a guy that was molesting children. That was the main issue, and they were propping him up in the church. They were uh, exalting him. Just to find out that nah, this guy's been abusing kids. But was Brian also abusing kids? Nobody. He he sweeped it under the rug. He knew about the father. He, he knew that. about that shit. But you see, um, yeah. Why does most of these stories? This is what I'm saying. That there's this sickness with 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 pedophiles, and us not getting to the bottom of. What 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 starts this? I have no idea, bro. I don't have the answers what is to the, these questions. Because no, obviously, but I'm just saying when 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 I think going back to the Roman Catholic Church, um, it's not just one guy. Like with Frank, it was Frank. Yeah, but, but there's no a society of 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 people where we hear that Frank and this one and that one and yeah, that but that's one. What I'm saying, like, but I'm saying, you, can you, I finish? Bro? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, my but bad. But I'm saying, bad. like with the with the Catholic Church. It's a whole society of priests that has been infamous for molesting kids. Yeah, but it's like I said, like the, the closest thing I can think of is the fact that they they have to be celibate. They can't maintain that. And the only way they can they, they, they get around that is by messing around with the thing that's that they have access to, which is the boys, because they also have like altar boys that have a function in their church or whatever. So um those become the prime targets, bro. Because also, um, I, I, I just don't, I don't think, um, I, I don't believe in the legitimacy of celibacy um, in that right. Yeah, because that. If, if you've been sexually active, then um, okay, not, not there's something within you because she's human. No, not celibacy for like religious purposes. That's the thing. Yeah. That's what I mean. That is what I'm saying. Okay. In that, in, in under those yeah. circumstances, I don't believe in the legitimacy of it because now you become tempted. Yeah, temptation is all around you. Bro. And temptation is, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel you, bro. So um, yeah, I, I, yo, it's disgusting, fam. Like it, it's really, really disgusting. Um, to um, to word that. I don't think I can ever cover that up from like my dad. But yeah, again, you're not in that kind of so situation or scenario. But and by, by I that do time, know that parents as like such an again an important role to play here because, um, you know, fam, the way I operate with kids, and the way I um foresee no sorry how I oversee other people operating with kids is maybe even um. It's maybe extreme because I'm just saying, even with the whole Michael Do Jackson documentary or saga, if Michael did not touch those kids, the loophole is you have no business sharing a bed with a child that you do not know. 
that are not your own. You have no business taking advantage of fans, going over to their homes, spending Christmases and shit like that with these people. You have no business letting your son go out with a grown man just because he is some superstar. People, the, the, most, the majority of these incidences is, is, is um, due to the negligence of the parents who just don't think the, these youth camps, I'm, I'm against that shit. Because what happens at youth camp, I've been at youth camps. And oh, how old do you have to be to go on a youth camp, bruh? Because over you're not going to steal my joy. Fam. Over 18. Who be here? I'm going to go to the youth camp. I'm going to go to the youth camp. I'm part of the problem. He's going to go to the youth camp. He's going to go to the youth camp. I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about the 16 year old kid, bruh. Me at 16, bro. You really gonna come on us youth camp? But we all know what happens on youth camps. Uh, yeah, I understand. People that. been fucking at the youth camps. Yeah, and this is supposed to be a church fair. But like, I know. But when do people start going to like youth uh, services? Like from 13, 11. Teen, teen. What, what I'm when you were from teen, 10? I think from 14. Yeah, I, I feel like Not maybe 10, that's fam, like 14. 14. Like you, you teen, your teenage years, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No, yeah, maybe 14 is too young, bro. Maybe 14 is too young. Like to go on camps and shit like that. Maybe 14 is too young, bro. But maybe like 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I mean. Nah, there shouldn't be youth camps. And that's all that iman so she ate camp. Don't, yeah. We need to swear saying it. You can't say that's all that iman so she ate up. What the fuck you mean by that? No. Somebody who wants to be. Near, near, bro. Like that's. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Like, um, kids start experimenting when they go into high school, bro. That's like grade eight, bro. Then they start thinking about, hey, bro, I really like this. Exactly. Girl. I really so this like. is why when you go so to the youth there, camp, there's really no, a, but there's, there's open really, sesame. Yeah, but, but what I'm trying to say is there's really no protecting your kids in that regard, bro. All, all you can do no, is. No, but I mean, I'm talking about the common sense things, fam. Like, the teacher, all of a sudden, now the child is going to go spend a weekend with the teacher. Yeah, no, nah, that's wild. Or bro. the teacher's dropping off my kid. Or as after class, as my snit, yay and the teacher. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Things like that, what, obviously. Uh, bro. Yeah, there's just certain things where it's like, nah, friend, yeah. this is a red flag. Crazy. Red flags must be acted yeah. on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then coming back to your song, this is the last I want to say about it. I feel like we've... we've yeah. Um, that church should be done. I don't know if it's still active, bruh. I don't, I don't nah, know. No, song is active. It's still active. It should be done because I see, I see Brian is going on trial this month, the 23rd of June. Um, mm -hmm. Please watch out. The documentary is called The Secrets of the Hillsong and then you can have your own um, opinion about it. But um, I think the church should be like totally like over, done, the, the name, everything. Because that's not, that's you think not it's, rotten. It's, it's tarnished that much, it's like tarnished. the name and all that. Yeah. So people who still associate themselves with that, still listen to the song, still this and that in the other. Um, yeah, let's net, net. Oh, listening to the songs is crazy. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about that. Because it's, it's. Because like I'm so so beige and like Kierke and Femme. Like to uh, me, no, I, no. I, I've been in a club. And at Lake Sue, maybe less than purple and blue lights. Yeah, I actually don't want to see bro, no purple must, and blue why, lights bro, and red must, lights in the church. Bro, why must why must why must gospel music suck, bro? That's the problem. I'm so glad you said that. Why do we want church to be a cool place to hang out? Yeah, why must why, no why, church is not a cool yeah, place. You why, must come in. You must actually. It must be terrible for you. No. No, it must be terrible in a no in a sense. I, I mean, terrible in, in in a sense where the pastor's gospel is so deep to the point that you feel like yo, what how I'm living is so bad that I feel bad sitting here. My Look, conscience. I think, I think I think some responsibility needs to uh, go to the to the person actually going to church where he needs to differentiate that yo, this man nah, he's, interpret he's, 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 he's interpreting place. the Bible. I see fun. It's not a fun place. Church is not a fun place. It's near Beshni. On school, me so on on a snet a snet disorder. You know, praise and worship. Okay, praise and worship, bro. Exuki disorderly conduct, me praise and worship. It doesn't have to be disorderly conduct, bro. But why must the music suck, bro? The music doesn't suck. Why why must why must there be a who come to Kenya to reclaim our beat to the gospel music? You just said Hillsong's music is Hillsong. No, what did I just say about Hillsong's music? You said it's um. 
it sounds like a bash in there no, because No, I I said what it looks like the the documentary shows yeah. what the praising and worshiping looks like in that church. Now, There's the, blue red lights, blue purple lights. I'm like, "Why, fam?" <laughs> okay, maybe that maybe that's a that's bit the overboard, feel. but the the mu- I'm I'm talking about the music specifically, bro. Nah. They, they make good music. No. Nah. They ek make suk, good music. Ek suk Bass guitars, as yeah 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 yeah. On such nights, by a rock concert, this one. These are men's mood. I'm just club. Ah, yeah. As you know, right now you're under mood club, club you're under. But you can also not come club like this, Vani. Order in the church, fam. I'm I'm old school like that. I seek order in the church, and I don't want no mess here in the church. This is why pastors can come with a skinny brook and tattoos, and it looks fly as hell. And on senior issue merit me because why? Oh my God! On Bro, what, what is no what is gospel? Fan. What is go, what is praise and worship without the fire music, bro? Like w- now, fire music. That's <laughs> the problem, fam. This is not a no rap. This track. This is not a, a, a Drake record, fam. This is bro, God bro. we're serving. Exactly, bro. Why you? God don't want to hear that trash, bro. What trash? The trash that you, that, that you guys are singing without nah, the music, bro. On serve a God of nah, order. I don't think God me. appreciate your trash praise and worship, bro. Like just bring in the drums, bro. Harmonize, uh, nah, bro. Yeah, like, but don't be shaking your ass here. Yeah, okay. Don't shake your ass, bro. But yeah, respect. Just, I just feel like the line of order has been crossed. Even I, I just see no dance, Kirk Franklin. Hey, yeah, bro, you crossed on. the line, fam. What, what? Kirk Franklin is this there, bro? Like, yo, what are you doing? No, this is the magic setting. I haven't seen, but are you Stevie J? Like, what's going on here, fam? We need to. I don't know, bro. I want Kirk me. Franklin make fire music, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't uh, uh, look, bro. I, I okay. You know what? I feel like I'm screw your copy, Mikey. So nah, you're good. You're good, man. Okay, my my problem is this, fam. I want to be able to differentiate between now. Nah, this is the pastor, and this is um the guy at the bash. That is not a differentiation. Fun. Don't you think that's a good thing? Pastor Kalalaran mensa ni passion gan kren ni club ala fat bibles rap them in the went to the club ala chai for like this. Isn't there isn't there something to say? Isn't there something to say about like get, getting the people where they at? No. Like where? No. Where, you must come to where we at. Because but I'm not going to go there, is, bro. Because it's sonder. Gani gani kerk to gani. No, continue with your sonder. No, no, no. God don't want that, bro. No. No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, fam, continue me you saw on the day counter. But you can't even come in a beer drink and eat here because on screen you Danny. No, nigga. No, that's no. not what I'm saying, bro. But like, that is what it could be. That's that, the people. That, that 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 experience that people get in 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 the club, nah. It shouldn't be the same experience that you get. Getting in the church. that experience in the church without like the the alcohol and the drugs, bro. Just being filled by the Holy Spirit, bro. And then Orderly music contact. fire. Nah, nah, bro. What's up? There's, it's but we 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 we're going ham, but we're going ham for the Lord, bro. What? <laughs> it's the same like they say we're fucking the kids for the Lord. Fam. No, that's no, the thing. Fam. No, I'm the, just the, the, saying because the, there's no bruh, line. There is a crazy parallel to draw, bro. No, that's nuts, bro. I'm just saying when there's no line. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wait. Wait. Now do bring up. When there's no line, then it becomes blurred. I feel like there should be a big difference as to how shit works in the church as opposed to how it works out of the church. The church should be the one place where all the bullshit is one side. This is why there's an opportunity for pastors to be texting women having sex with women um possibly breaking up homes because the line is blurred I believe I believe for that what you're here for us ni you are coming here because I got you where you at and where you at is at a very low sinful place nah. which we all I are, think we, which we all I think, are, we all are sinners I think but we I'm need just to... saying if you getting me at a place where I'm at when am I going to rise up to where the church is. Nah, I'm taking you to to rise up, but I'm taking you out of the the, the club. I'm putting you in a church, bro. That's already a step up. And now we we 
and and when I get you to the church, it's my job as a pastor to 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 lead you down the straight and narrow by guiding you, bro. Not by trying to smash. You know what I mean? Or by by doing all the unnecessary things. That is, that is coming from the pastor. You need to know what the right thing to do is, bro. But you see, you, and then you see a, what's a lot the of problem? a lot of the. But, the, but that's why I'm saying like the human element is also going to be a problem. But as much as it's the pastor's responsibility to to do that and he must be held accountable for his bullshit, nah? the same thing about the person that goes to church, bro. If you're going to give your heart to the Lord, bro, you can't spill it, bro. You can't spill it. Okay, I agree with that. Nah? But you know what's my thing? Um, when pastors or, 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 I don't know, people of God meet you at a place where you're at, still, there should be a kind of line. The problem is we blur the line so much because we don't want to offend the people so that they can stay in the church or come to the church. We we, we need to start um, shying away from that part where we sugarcoat the gospel now because we have to meet the congregation where they are. At the end of the day, halfway meet I am meet, I'm not coming all the way to you, fam. I'm coming here. And, and, and how I truly know that you will be serving God in truth and in spirit is when you come all the way halfway too. And then where comes four and two? So then we not, nobody's judging nobody in this um in 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 this space because we've both come halfway. But when I come all the way, then that means I need to succumb to your ways of life so that I can get you all on the other side. And by the time I need to get you to the other side, as a lot, but yet for make like a consume. Nah, yeah, but that's why. But nah, but 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 nah, 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 Listen, I hear you, nah. But that's why not anybody can be a pastor, brother. Yeah, I so as, that, if you're gonna go is, into f- in, into enemy's territory, bro, you have to be a warrior, bro. I agree. Yeah, so still, if you compromise, you go all the way, if you if you go all the way and you end up being compromised, bro, then you're just not a warrior like that, bro. You're a trash pastor, bro. Yeah, but if you, you see getting, what the problem with that is, yes, club pastor. Now you flop. Now we condemn you. Now you are in trouble. Yeah, let's condemn you. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you as you can't find us a pastor, let's condemn you. It's class for pay. But Turk Franklin needs to make music, but uh, that's necessary, bro. Yeah, but he's got so many shit going on in his household. That, that's fine, bro. Nah, that's that's, his, household. For me. that's yeah. his household. That's his household, bro. People have problems. You know bro. what's the problem with pastors and why they have got like kids that's who stotus and what net hand against everything that the pastor stands for? It's because the pastor pays too much attention to what's going on in the church and maybe congregation and the members that he doesn't necessarily um Nah, I don't I don't think so, bro. I, I think Bro, it, let me finish okay, my okay, point. Okay, okay. My so bad, now coming to, to, to Kirk Franklin, he's got lots of issues with his kids. But I also know that that guy is out at the new studio dropping tracks and things like that. Sometimes you need to take your cape off and go back to your house yeah. and say, let me fix this foundation that he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, mean, I'm with he it. had to come and apologize to us for cussing out his kid. I understood that situation and I, 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 I understood what happened there. But I had an issue with the fact that he just wasn't there for his kids. In 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 they in in in, in they needed that guy, fam. Yeah, that, they needed that man to come from thy come from your higher horse up. Yeah, that situation exists now, but there's also just people or, or or pastors that put undue pressure on kids, bruh. Like to 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 live that holier than thou life, bruh. And it's just not it's that, that is stress, bro. No, I I I, I agree, yeah, but I'm also so, saying, yeah, but still, you can also be a pastor without having your kids in check. Yeah, like but it can't be overly, bro. Gonna... It can't be too. It can't be. It can't be nuts, bro. That's why yeah, also the, 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 the problem comes from people too, because we look at pastors with that. Yo, this guy is supposed to be. Oh, we don't look at the thing is we don't see pastors as people, bro. They people, bro, with problems. So they're gonna have their problems, and we shouldn't judge pastors for. Uh, okay, not judge, but we must allow them to take care of their families, bro. Just how as we exactly. have our problems with our families, exactly. we must give them. Because uh, you know what, um, what, what, um, what I like what pa- uh, Pastor, pa- Pastor Carl said about the the wasn't the feel at some point because he got tired, and you see the, that's the problem for me because the pastor of Evil Alien Shine, and there's no succession plan here, right? Yeah. And the succession plan is based on on th- they make it look like I don't know who you gotta be on the the pastor to succeed. You can't just go to church and there's only one pastor preaching all the time, every time. What's happening in their personal life? This is why we don't see them as people because they dedicate so much of their time to us. 
so much of the everything famous. The pastor, the pastor, the pastor. The pastor needs to, we want to know. He, mean, he needs to tell us, listen, I've got a family issue that I need to deal with. And you won't be seeing me. Or, I'll, or I can sit with you in the congregation sometimes and listen to a different pastor. Because even they need that teaching. Yeah. So to me, um, and, and that's even like in my church, um, the church where I go to, I like that. Where on Sinabiki, there's not one person that's running the show. Though we all know who's the head pastor, but I don't feel like he's a tyrant. If you know what I mean. So we need to, this Hillsong situation, the church needs to stop operating like a business and just start operating like a place where we all can come. And yeah, just, but if, they, if your church is going to be that huge, bruh, it's nah, that a business. Nah, that's not a place for people, that's not a place for people. We're going to know the Super Bowl out book. Yeah. But what is that? Yeah, but that that that's that's what we bro, all the mega churches, bro, they that big, bro. Nah, the mega churches are on some bullshit. But 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 yes, yeah, yo. I got my shit off. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you're gonna edit this. Um, um now please we... take that part out. <laughs> I got my shit off. Hi, <laughs> hi. Um, um but yeah, don't forget to like it, uh, like and subscribe. Are um, we what what, what what have have we parted for an hour? 76 minutes. Okay. All right. So I think we're, we're good then because I wanted to speak about the Woolworth situation, but we don't have oh, to shit, speak about that. You know what? I've been looking at Nandipa and Hillsong the whole time. <laughs> I just didn't see anything about Woolworths this whole time. They lost for Woolworths. Okay. I, uh, peace. Peace.